you might remember it from diving into the 10 issues to watch in 2022. This year, the EU will fully deploy its recovery and resilience facility, offering an unprecedented financial opportunity for member states to speed up their post-pandemic recovery. The idea is not only to revitalize our economy, the EU wants to ensure a quality recovery with lasting effects. First, a minimum of 37% of the investment should foster our ecological transition. For instance, Italy plans to renovate and improve the energy efficiency of 100,000 private buildings, while Germany will encourage its residents to switch to electric cars by reducing their purchase price and installing half a million recharging points in public spaces and residential areas. Second, at least 20% of the investment should promote our digital transition. For instance, France will equip 45,000 classrooms with new digital solutions, while Croatia plans to create a one-stop shop for all public administration's online services. In the meantime, social inclusion is key. No one should be left behind. For instance, Austria will provide reskilling opportunities for people who have become unemployed during the crisis, while Lithuania aims for stronger social protection by reforming a guaranteed minimum income protection scheme. The European Parliament stresses that ambitious plans and sound execution are essential to seizing this historic opportunity for a strong and sustainable recovery, calling for full transparency and accountability in the use of the funds. Members also insist that the plans promote gender equality and equal opportunities throughout. The clock is ticking, and to benefit from support under the facility, the reforms and investments should be completed by 2026. Member States must move up a gear.